Susan, how do you look at the accusation from Beijing that uh, the Biden administration is merely paying lip service to its one China policy? How do you think the two sides can really effectively manage uh, Taiwan as one of the biggest risk factors facing China-U.S. relations? Yeah, I do agree with Dao Wei that the Taiwan issue is a, a most concerning flashpoint in our relationship. And uh, there's a a pretty big disconnect, I think, between the U.S. and China on uh, on the trust issue. I mean, the U.S. keeps uh, repeating its one China policy formulation, and the Chinese side doesn't uh, believe anymore that it is actually abiding by the uh, one China policy. And I think that um, the reason for that is has a lot to do with the difference in our systems. I mean, the administration, the Biden administration, I think, um, can try to discipline its own officials, but it's very hard for it to discipline other officials in other quarters in the U.S. government, like Congress, and also, of course, can't discipline sort of the, the raucous and very loud kind of voices that come from within mm -hmm. democratic U.S. society on this issue. So, um, you know, I think China believes that the Biden administration should be controlling more things that happen with respect to Taiwan um, in, in the U.S. and the Biden administration kind of thinks it's doing its part uh, within its own policy lane. And I think that is, is, has always been a problem on Taiwan, but it's definitely uh, been exacerbated of late. And I think we do have to rebuild trust, as Dao Wei said, on this issue. I think we can do it, um, but it is not that easy in the current environment. The Biden administration said that they are looking to reconfigure some of the Trump era tariffs on China. But on Friday, Biden said he has not made any decision whatsoever on the tariffs. Um, of course, there's a difference between the politically expedient thing to do versus the economically sound thing to do. So first of all, Susan, let me ask you on China tariffs. What do you think is the economically sound thing to do, not just for the American consumers and companies, but for China U.S. economic relations at large? Well, I mean, I am in the camp who definitely thinks that the tariffs should be um, rolled back. I mean, there may be a, a step, you know, kind of series of steps in doing so. But up to now, we've seen this extremely cumbersome process of tariff exemptions, which I think is uh, the wrong direction to head in. It just empowers kind of uh, bureaucratic licensing authorities and is really inefficient. I think the Part of the political impetus is, of course, to um, try to reduce prices in the U.S. because we're facing very high inflation. Uh, but there's political pressures on the other side, too, of course, um, from industries and unions and people like that who are major constituencies for President Biden. So he's he's having to consider, you know, a very, very carefully all of the various trade offs. But I think um, taking the tariffs and rolling them back in some fashion is certainly uh, overdue.